I rebuilt my website. From a development perspective, I was quite satisfied with my old implementation. But why did I see the need to throw it overboard? When I built my old website in 2022, I chose a very simple tool stack. It was a single page app based on lit. There was no backend and all content was statically served from an Nginx server. The content was written in Markdown. I basically built my own static site generator on top of Veed. I happily used this tool stack before I decided to switch tool stacks in Q4 of 2023. Let's start by collecting some issues I spotted with my lit tool stack. First, there were some performance concerns. I am aiming to build more and more features into my website. If you do this with a single page application, you need to do code splitting to have reasonably good load times. In traditional web frameworks and also in lit, you can use dynamic imports to achieve this. But hydration has to ha happen before the page is interactive and so the SEO score is also suffering. Second, with the SSR approach, I would have to rebuild and redeploy my whole application every time the content changes. This leads to more CI pipeline runs and downtimes during deployments. In a server-side rendering environment, in contrast, the HTML is generated on demand with the current underlying content. The render result can then still be cached on the edge or on reverse proxies to reduce rendering cost. The third reason why I wanted a new stack is because I want to be able to scale it to other applications. If the content is burnt into the application at build time, we need at least some markdown know-how and operation effort to get it all forked to a new application. So what does my new stack look like? My new stack consists out of Quick, Bun with SQLite and Notion. Quick is my frontend, which runs in server-side rendering mode, so it can dynamically render the content to an HTML page. On the server-side, I have a content service based in Bun, which has the pre-processed content from my CMS. And as a CMS, I simply took Notion because it is widespread and very easy to use. Let's go through how the stack solves the problems listed before. Quick has a new approach to server-side rendering. This approach is called resumability. Instead of rendering the page twice, once on the server for server-side rendering and once on the client for hydration, it instead renders the page once on the server and serializes the state and the listeners into the HTML which is delivered to the client. I explained this process in detail in this video. As a result, resumability minimizes the time to interactive because by default little to no JavaScript is executed on page load. Code splitting in quick by convention is done every time you see a trailing dollar sign in your code. So your code is split into tiny modules containing single callbacks. Those modules are interpreted and compiled just before they are executed. And the modules are prefetched by a service worker to reduce network latency when the modules are actually required. Pages built with Quick are likely to have a great Lighthouse performance score. So with Quick we can build complex websites and web apps without sacrificing performance. And as a nice bonus, we can decide on each navigation step whether we want a multi-page application or a single-page application experience for the user. So for me, it was a no-brainer to switch to Quick. I decided to build a content service myself with Bun. The reason why I picked Bun as a server-side technology are performance paired with a great development experience. I go into more detail in this video. This content service is meant to be a caching proxy to my CMS. It basically optimizes access times 
and it transforms the data from the CMS into a simpler CMS agnostic format. This also may make switches between CMS systems easier if I decide to go away from Notion one day. The underlying database is a simple SQLite instance. Since the single source of truth is our content management system, we can easily scale up our service by just replicating it and synchronizing with the CMS system. So why did I pick Notion as a CMS? To be honest, I'm not very experienced with content management systems by now. But I'm sure that there are plenty of great options out there. For now, I will stick to Notion because it's free, has a great writing experience and a reasonable API. It is also a SaaS solution where everyone can easily join projects. And because it's simple, there is no big onboarding process for content creators. From my point of view, this makes it a perfect solution for collaboration and providing basic web development as a service. All in all, I'm quite satisfied with my tool stack right now. It provides great performance, less downtimes and scalability. If you have some remarks or ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you are interested in BUN or QUICK, you can have a look at those videos next. In this sense, thanks for watching, never stop learning and see you in the next video.